that familiar Vegas sound. Guys, here we are at CES 2019. 185,000 people attend this event. It's one of the largest trade shows in the world and it's the largest tech show in the world. So for the next couple of days, I'm gonna be walking around and looking at some different things and I'm gonna show you the highlights here. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. Welcome to CES. So that's your personal robots back there coming in 2020. Apparently one of them's already used at airports to help people find the gates and different things like that. So they're designed to help you around the house and then another thing that straps around you just helps you to do heavy lifting. So, you know, alien, uh, here we come. He's got a car following him. Tell me, what's this about? This is the Caddy Trek robotic golf caddy. It has four different modes. You can use it as a manual push cart. You can drive it around like a remote control car. When you clip the handset onto your back, you're gonna, it, it will follow you automatically. You can also clip the handset to your front, and it's like an invisible push. We know it may not be the Jetsons just yet, but we're getting pretty close with these different personal robots. This one reminds me of R2-D2. I've got ones here that clean windows, do all kinds of tasks for you, even play ping pong. Now here's a grocery store of the future. We'll roll right up to your house and you can just step out and collect your groceries. Health exam, no problem. Of course, we can also have some fun with these with this big massive robot. And of course, getting crops. From John Deere here, the harvester of the future, autonomous self-driving. So AI can actually monitor a lot of your bodily functions, can tell your temperature, it can tell if you're comfortable, happy, all kinds of different things, and it can work with your smart home or internet of things to adjust things. So if you're irritated, it's gonna put on some nice music. If you're cold, it's gonna speak to your heat or warm things up. If you're hot, it's gonna adjust uh, your air conditioning. Of course, we've got eye tracking for playing video games, and nothing is complete without our smart home. And here's a lot of innovations here with refrigerators, with all kinds of screens, and we can even look through and see into the fridge and see what's in there. We'll even let you know when you run low on items. Washing machine, of course, which does washing and drying at once. Some of these can sense different types of materials. And of course, when it comes to drying, we can steam them in these beautiful, uh, compartments <laughs> and don't forget to condition your air and make sure it's nice and purified let's talk about screens we've got some great screens here including the LG waterfall here which is taking advantage of curved screens and showing that technology One of the things that got a lot of attention was Samsung's The Wall. It's a 219 inch television that can expand to fit the whole size of a wall. Now this is using micro LED technology, which is tiny, tiny little LEDs that use less energy, but can also be conformed to different shapes and sizes. No pricing is available on this just yet, but I bet you it's not gonna be cheap. So we got this 88 inch OLED 8K TV huge check it out it's as thick as a pencil now you see it and now you don't these TVs are actually rolling up and down out of these little things so. here you have to look closely to realize that these screens are actually rolling up under out of the base there so these are the LG R for roll-up screen and these screens will literally just roll up And these are going to be great for saving space because you just have the base sitting there and you can have it rolled up just a little bit that shows controls or you can roll it all the way down and free up the space in your house. Don't forget transportation. Electricity is everywhere. We've got this electric Mercedes. And of course, we've got the Nexus from Bell. 
and this is in combination with Uber. This is a six engine flying car, or actually a flying taxi. Of course, we've got the luxury yacht, the smart boat of the future. Let's step aboard. Here we go, we're going on to my uh, new yacht. Okay, check it out here. All the things you would expect for, you know, splashing around in the nice. harbor. How much is this boat worth? Uh, we're looking at about five million. Five million? Five million. Oh, wow. Oh, that's what it means. It's a snip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wow, get two or three of them. Wow. <laughs> hey, I wasn't too far off. It's a ten. Yeah. Here's the master three. Why are you playing Casey Neistat music on your vlog? Yeah. <laughs> uh, copyright, copyright strike. Then we've got scanning technology for doing maintenance on your vehicle. And then we've got the people mover of the future. So this is the cabin of the future where you're gonna just get in there. You just sit down, make yourself comfortable and everything is interactive around you with different screens on the windows. They can entertain you, give you information about your trip, news, weather, whatever kind of information you could put on a screen, you can put right here and even right on the screen. Electric motorcycle, the Harley Davidson Livewire. Zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds, 110 mile range. If you love the sound of a Harley, well, you're not gonna get it here, but your neighbors will love it. One of the things you get doing what we do is we don't get enough exercise. See these Apple logos are flipped around the wrong way. Did you notice that? I think that's copyright, copyright. to get around copyright violations. So anyway, so this is the office of the future. What do you think? I actually like it. Of course, I'm being fake here because I'm making this look way easier than it is because I actually can't really type that well. I would actually, in real life, it would be more like this. I'm really sure, is this the gym of the future or is this the office of the future? So behind me was known as Hypervision. So what they are is they're like spinning fans with uh, 300 LEDs on each and the LED lights change uh, color and size and it makes it look like things are holographic. It's really cool, they just kind of pop up and I was told that the one over here is $1,800 and the one over there is $2,200. So I can see they can be programmed to do a lot of different things, um, definitely signage of the future. question for you out of all the things you've seen here what's your favorite just drop a comment underneath and let us know so thanks for watching if you like these kind of videos hit the subscribe button right now and hit that notification bell and you'll know whenever I upload a new video every week I do a Photoshop and Lightroom tutorial and I also do some tech reviews so thanks for watching guys and until next time I'll see you at the cafe